So, if you want to delete this layer because now it's empty, it has nothing in it, you just hit this uh, trash can icon thingy. You hit it and you delete it. Okay, next. So, I don't know if you can notice, it's very, very unnoticeable, but there's a watermark. Ah, yeah, if I hover over it, you can see it. There's there's a watermark that says GG map here. So if you want to use this map, you're going to need to remove it because it will look very ugly. There are uh, several ways to remove it. One of the easiest but time consuming kind of way is that you choose the direct selection tool, which is A on your keyboard. When you see this, this outline, this blue outline, by the way, it's blue because this layer is actually blue you see how this layer is blue if you double click on it you can change the color here to whatever you want so maybe something more uh, noticeable sometimes you can't really see the blue or whatever so just say the blue choose dark blue and then you can rename the layer here to example dg map and hit ok to rename it and now you can see that the the outline that we saw is dark blue. Um, so, while selecting the direct selection tool, when you see this outline that says DG map come up, uh, just click on one of the letters. You can see that it it's uh, selected now. Hit delete twice. This will delete one of the layers. Then hit it again. Select it. Hit it again. And then you see that it's the P is removed. There's just a little bit. One, two, three. So this is one way to remove the um, the watermark or any object really. If you just maybe select this line, double click, delete, and you can see that it's gone. Control Z again. Control Z to undo what you just did. Uh, okay, the other way is using the layer panel so if I just select uh, also using the direct selection tool this M and then go to the layer panel you see this uh, arrow thingy over here you just click it and go to locate object so we go to locate object and you see that it tells you that the object you just selected is right here if we hide it it hides this uh, particular object but if you hide the one below it you remove everything you can see that the uh, watermark is gone so what you can do is just select these two layers or sub layers really because they're inside all the one big layer so uh, this is actually how illustrator works so you have one big layer but each object that you have is in one sub layer of its own so you can use the locate object over here to make it easy for you to uh, navigate between these objects so let's go back down there it is and hit the delete button and you can see that it's gone great mm, now let's see for example, how we can change this skin colored building thing to a different color. What we're going to do is use the direct selection tool again to select one of these shapes. You can see that here it says that we're selecting a shape with this color. So if you want to change just one, like we did before, you can just double click on this thing and then change the color to what you, whatever you want, like green. Uh, no, mm. Mm. I don't know, blue, red, maybe, red, okay, oh god, anyway, this is fine, it's fine, uh, but if you want to change all of these shapes uh, of the same color to something else, what you can do is select this one one of them and then go to select and then go to same 
and fill color because what you want to change here is the fill color and you're going to select every shape that has the same fill color so just click that and it will automatically select every shape that has this color then you can just do the same thing go to uh, the fill color square and then choose a color oh god the cats are going crazy okay uh, let's choose a color and then hit okay see that just changes everything but let's hit ctrl c because this is not good <laughs> we'll change it to um, again red maybe I don't really know. Whatever color you want is fine. Uh, okay. Let's say control Z. Okay. So, what else do we want to do? Let's see more, uh, a little bit more about the layer panel. So, let's say, for example, I want to draw over this shape uh, something else. Or, like, I want to put in an arrow right here going that way for some reason. We're gonna use the pen tool, P, but I'm gonna do it on a separate layer. So maybe you want to have this map unaltered, exactly the same as you got it from the website. So you lock this um, layer and then create a new one. Um, before we create a new one, you can see like when I hover here, I can't do anything and like you get this uh, stop sign thingy. Uh, so you can't edit this. So if you see this, you know that you are on a locked layer. You can just go and unlock the layer that you want or just create a new layer and work on that. So let's hit the create new layer. And change it to maybe edit. And I just double clicked on the name here so I can change it. Okay. So now let's zoom in and create a line you just click and then go over here this green line that you see it's called uh, i think the smart guides so illustrator automatically uh, automatically tells you that you are drawing a straight line here or for example if i go let's see if i can find something Hmm, I can't hear because uh, this layer underneath it is locked. So uh, maybe we'll show it later. Uh, so if you see this green line, it means that you're going uh, to draw a straight line. Or you can just hit shift and uh, click on the other end. So uh, as you can see, it's uh, you can't see anything. That's because it's... Um, it's only doing a fill now there's no stroke so maybe if I do this you'll see that it's starting to draw a shape because uh, now we, there's a shape that is filled let's hit control Z but if you want it to be just a stroke you can either click on this arrow here it says swap fill and stroke so the fill becomes the stroke and the stroke becomes, uh, becomes the fill and now we have this colored stroke because it's the last object that we selected the last object that we selected had this color so uh, uh, illustrator regis registers that color and uh, you will have it the same exact color but let's change it to red because I like red red okay this red and you can see that you drew a stroke here. If you want to change um, uh, like the length of the stroke that you just did or the, the line that you just drew, you can hit the A or direct selection tool. Click on one of the anchors. These are called anchors or points. And then hold it and drag. If you drag it without holding shift, obviously you can move it everywhere you want. If you hold shift, you will move it in a straight line. So let's move it over here. Now, let's say you want this arrow to have, uh, you want this line to have an arrow. You just, you just click it 
with the selection tool because you want to choose the entire object you either click A and then drag and select the entire object or you click V which is the selection tool and just click on the object then you can go to stroke the menu that we talked about earlier uh, that you can change the attributes of the stroke and just click stroke and then you go very down to the last uh, part here it says arrowheads you click on one of the arrows and you can choose whichever uh, shape you want I prefer just a very simple one like this one of course it's way too big so you can use this um, this what, what are they called this box thing box I think uh, to change the scale let's do 20 maybe 20 is too small oh um, that's fine I guess is it too small let's make it a point 75 and this one at 35 yeah 35 is cool okay so this way you created an arrow now if you want to uh, create an arrow on both sides you can just come on okay. uh, you can just click on the other drop down menu here and choose the arrow shape obviously and then you see here it says link start and end arrow scales that means that if you if you click on it now right now it's disabled so if I changed one like if I um, maybe made this 50% it will stay the other one stays the same and this one changes but if I click on it let's make it 35 like the other one 35 percent they're the same so now I can click them and then if I change one and hit enter they both change let's get back to 35 though it's better and let's remove this one we don't really need it so if you want to remove it click on the menu and then go up to none come on wait, wait. oh yeah right it didn't work because I wasn't choosing uh, I didn't choose the object so struck this one and none yay okay uh, and you can also like like we said before change this part over here to round cap it'll look a bit a bit nicer so let's change it here round cap so it looks a bit neater I guess 